Hey guys, it's Stefan from Tutorial Australia, and this is a tutorial on the right clicking on the dock and some advantages you have by using it. So, if you come down to your dock at the bottom of your Mac screen, you can see all your different applications. And some people didn't know, or oh, I've just pressed uh, left click and I've opened it, and that's fine, I can use it from there. But there's also some different things you can use when you're using a right click on the dock icon. So, let's do an example over here on iTunes. So if we right click on iTunes, we can actually do a lot of other things than just opening it up basically. Uh, we can check the phones, we can play, we can next, we can previous, we can play recent, we can use all the keys that we could usually do on the actual program which is such a nifty tip so you don't even have to open iTunes, you can keep it down uh, in the dock screen, just minimized and you can do uh, the next or previous just from the right clicking and you can also do even more advanced things like repeating songs and opening uh, to find in iTunes store. So it's very easy to use these tips on the dock. Another one for an example is, let's see here, Chrome. Okay, so if we right click on Chrome, we can make a new window, we can open what we're currently on, so Facebook, and we can also make an incognito stage with the window, and we can also go through options, uh, just like removing in the dock, open it, login, and show in Finder, which are just nifty tips that will save you some time, and you don't even have to open the browser to do this, you can purely do it on a right click. Hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial on a tip of the dock. A lot of people didn't know this, but it's just so easy just to change the song on a right click on the iTunes icon instead of even opening the application. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys for the next video.